I'm speaking live from the 2023 Marrakesh International Film Festival. I'm speaking with Kamal Lazarak. Um, this is my second time seeing your film. I saw it in Cannes. Congratulations on winning the Prix du Jury. I was thinking about uh, this film. This film is set up in the outskirts of Casablanca, and it, it, it showcases people that live in the peripheries. Yeah, it was, uh, it, I think it's one of the, the main points of this project. Is uh, and I think also the the choose of non-professional actors who are very close to the characters in the, in the movie was uh, very important because in Casablanca, in big cities in Morocco, but I think in a lot of countries in the world, there is uh, a part of the society who live uh, uh, a part of the, the rest of uh, mm -hmm. of the people. They don't feel the the you know Morocco is a Country, emerging country, but they don't feel it in their uh, life, and they have to make some time a choice, like the choice we see in, in the film. So it was something very important for me. And uh, the, during the script writing, I met a lot of people living in this kind of situation, mm -hmm. and I uh, I take a lot of of them, of their stories, of their, their DNA, yeah, of the DNA and the way they they live, and also the actors brings a lot of, of think about this subject and uh, yes I think it was uh, one of the main uh, points of the, the project for me. The process sort of began with L'Homme au Chien yeah. in 2014 so yeah. you've been living with this project in some form for a very long time now. Mm -hmm. What was one, because I love the screenplay, I thought it worked, when I saw it the first time I was just blown away by all the beats, where you're taking us, the viewer, mm -hmm. we, never, we never know where we're going and I was thinking about how that, that project might have evolved over time. What's the last ingredient that you added to your screenplay? For me, the, the, the last thing I added to the screenplay it was during the, the shooting because okay. I, I wrote the screenplay, it was very precise. And yes. After, I, it takes a long time. But when you arrive in the, in the set with non-professional actors during the night in Casablanca with a small crew, some things, uh, a lot of things happen. Movie you, magic. Yeah, and you have to, to adapt. And I don't give uh, very precise dialogues to the actors because I want them to bring their words and their life and their experience. So they bring some... Sometimes the film was going in a completely different direction and uh, I had um, 20 minutes to think, is it the good direction for the film? Or I have to reshoot re the sequence mm -hmm. because... and. Uh, for me, it was important that accidents happen during the shooting because for me, it's the, the second writing of the shooting yes. and then during the editing, it's a new writing. And when we read the first uh, and the final draft of the script and, the, and when we see the, the movie, it's, it's the same heart, the same energy, but a lot of details change during the, the two process of, mm -hmm. uh, of the, making this film. Yeah. If I had to bet dirhams or the, the, the local currency or money or euros, yeah. uh, I would have said that this was street casting. The father and son have so much layers, so much information, such a backstory on their faces. It's mm -hmm. tattooed on their faces. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the moments where you met these people for the first time. What, what was your first thoughts when you said, oh, this is the father, this is Hassan, this mm. is the son? The son reminds me of the, the actor in Battle of Algiers. In? Le, the, the Battle of Algiers. Yeah, yeah, like, like mm. it seems like he's seen so much in his lifetime, mm. enough to fill up many lifetimes of normal Casablancans, let's say. Yeah, yeah. So tell me about the moments where you find the father, find the, the son. Yeah, it's, yeah, you're right, it was, it's, what you get. it's exactly that. that I, it was a long process, you, you know, it's a cast, wild cast, cast, street casting, and we work with a director, a cast director who, who is used to find non-professional actors in different uh, neighborhoods of, of Casablanca. So I met a lot of, uh, of young men, but um, sometimes I just need to see a photo to say, no, it's not him, it's mm -hmm. not him, it's not him, it's not him. And then, and I saw the first time I saw the, the photo of uh, Ayub, and uh, I felt uh, that uh, there is uh, something in his uh, eyes. Uh, with because I didn't want to make a film with a lot of dialogue, a lot of psychology. I needed uh, strong faces, and uh, the look for me was uh, very important. So I I saw the photo, and I said, I think it's him. I need to meet him, 
the cast director said, oh, uh, I just take him in photo three years ago, I have to find it. And oh my it was, God. It was a longer, and he said, look at this, this one is good, this one is good, no, <laughs> I need this one. And he find it uh, after a long, uh, long journey. He was in the had to go back and like this person probably moved and like yeah. You know, and he was going to his uh, neighborhood and show the photo, and people are, was thinking that he was uh, from the police. And now <laughs> it was it's for a film. So I met him, and uh, what I saw in the photo was was real, and I I I, I knew that it was him. Mm -hmm. It was a certain. I make a few. Uh, uh, this is improvise it yes, like, like back and forth, yeah. yeah just to see if he, he can act in front of a camera. And for me, it was uh, it was okay. But for the father, it was uh, more difficult because uh, I saw a lot of people. And when you are coming from this social background, you are very tired at this age, and uh, you are very shy. And they, they didn't uh, show me the father authority that uh, I was looking for. So. It was very complicated. I tried the uh, professional actors, but it was working. But it wasn't. It wasn't what uh, I want. Uh, I wanted. I want. To, I wanted to, to work with uh, yeah. non-professional. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. was important for me. So when Ayub saw that I was struggling to find the father, he, he he said to me, "Come to my neighborhood in the old Medina of Casablanca. We had a coffee, and he was thinking and said, uh, come with me." I want to introduce you some someone, and it was uh, Abdelatif. He said to me, uh, he has a very long story. His life, he was yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, 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 he experienced a lot of, of things, and when I have a problem, I come to have an advice from him because he's like my my father. We already have this built-in connection, yeah. almost. Yes, and this father and son relationship is it was it was uh, already there. So I saw his face and I said, yeah, he's very interesting. I, we, we see a lot of things in, uh, yes. in his body or in his, uh, in his face. And the same thing, we, I take the, my iPhone and try some, um, some sequences that was in the script and the alchemy worked and I knew that it mm. will be working, but it was a risk because it was their first time. Of course. And for me, the most important work I made with them, it was to build a relationship friendship between uh, between us and uh, mm -hmm. they need to understand what I was uh, wanting for them and uh, it was uh, the most important thing but when they arrived the first day and they saw the, the crew and the, the trucks he said to me but uh, you're crazy we're not actors we can't uh, manage this but after two days it was uh, completely okay and they uh, they act like like professional for, for that's us. amazing yeah. uh, just uh, like just on the, those two choices alone make the film yeah. um, I, I quite like the device the um, the device of um, of time like like Hitchcock used to play around with clocks <coughs> here the big threat here is sunlight the idea of sunlight yeah. um, the uh, the sand glass is, is always you always get a sense that there's there's not a lot of time left in that sand glass um, Let's go to the the idea of shooting nocturnally, um, the difficulties and also the pleasures of of setting up a shoot that must have been super complex. I mean, you, you get such a rich tapestry. Like, I love how you employ um, artificial lighting into the nocturnal world. But, I mean, when you're writing the screenplay and you won the Fondation Gann Prize, which is a big deal for screenwriting, but when you actually are on set, how much prep work mentally did you do to belong to a nocturnal world to shoot in the dark like like there must have been so many challenges yes it, it, i had an experience because i made a short film the man with the bug it was also one night in casablanca okay. so i experienced this before so i knew that we will need to use the what was uh, existing in the, the in the lights in, the, in casablanca and i chose uh, the DOP, I mean, the other who is uh, who is from Casablanca, he he know the city, he he understand the the the, the, the way of uh, work that uh, I, I wanted. So it was not so difficult to prepare the, the set and the, the lighting. It was uh, we had to adapt from the existing lighting, mm -hmm. and uh, there was no complex installation. And okay. when we tried to make something complex or aesthetic. 
we take long of time to, 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 to do this, but when we saw the result in the, in the screen, it was not the film that we wanted to do. There is a very documentary approach, mm -hmm. there is a lot of improvisation, there is a, when something happened uh, unexpected in the set and it was going to the right direction, we decide always to go in this direction. So it was a very uh, documentary, documentary approach and we want uh, the, 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 the frame to be uh, brute. Um, well, I say, um, uh, harsh, harsh and authentic. So we find a way to do this during the shooting. After a few days, we find the, the, the right way to be to be also to be quick because when you, you shoot during the night, you don't have a lot of, of time, and the, the, not, the, the actors after five or six hours they were very tired. But you can't ask them to act uh, important sequence. So there is a. Uh, a tense, and uh, we it was a very um, it was very creative because nothing was very uh, prepared. We had to adapt ourselves mm -hmm. always during the mm -hmm. set. The the idea of figs. I, I did some research on figs. Symbolically, uh, are, are related to prosperity, well-being, and security. Yeah. And uh, so, like the figs in this film, it's, there's no accidental thing there. I was just wondering. How much of the uh, imp? I mean, you grew up in in, yeah. in, in Morocco. Uh, like, is there anything that I'm extracting from this that's that's sort of palpable? Because there's one crucial scene where the figs save their life in a yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there is a, a lot of symbolic of figs in, in Morocco, and this sequence is inspired by uh, uh, a real. Uh, uh, a man I know who lived in uh, the countryside of Casablanca and have this, this tree and uh, he was very proud of, uh, of this tree even if he was uh, living, uh, he was uh, like the, the character yeah, yeah, yeah. we see in the film and for him it was the, the symbolic of, uh, of peace and uh, wellness and uh, he, he was always speaking about the, the, this, uh, this tree and when he had the, the I don't know in English, the, the antenne uh, the the, um, the um, antenna, I guess. Yeah, the antenna who came to so the, the society, the company rent his land to install this. Uh, this yes, antenna, okay. And he had to take out some trees. He, to take out some trees, and uh, the money uh, was uh, for him. Uh, the the he didn't have to make uh, wrong jobs because he had this money, even yes. if this tree was was gone. So. They, they, I knew the story and I wanted to, to use it in, a, in, in this sequence. Yeah. Um, I'll end with the last question. Is I'm actually quite excited by, I, I'm, like I said, I, I really responded so well to this film when I saw it in the month of May. Mm -hmm. I saw it with the local audience yesterday. Um, I'm just, I'm really excited about your voice and, and seeing the type of cinema that, that you might progress into. Mm -hmm. I imagine you already have projects set up. Mm -hmm. What's what's What are some themes perhaps or genre lines that you might cross into for your next feature? For my next feature, I, I, I think it's the same approach. I, I have a story with a man, a young man I know, and uh, it's his story, so there is a very documentary approach. I think uh, in uh, Hounds it was a kind of genre film, a thriller, mm -hmm. and film noir during one night. The, the, my second feature will be more uh, classic, you know, it's not in one night, it's a long story of the life of a, a young man in Casablanca. So I still have this uh, this documentary approach to work with non-professional actors and for me what is important is, it's very important to write a very precise script, but for me uh, uh, when I arrive in uh, on the set I want to be free to, to feel what is happening with those actors and what the, the, the city brings to us mm -hmm. to adapt mm -hmm. and create something uh, authentic. I, I, I really don't uh, like when uh, you have a storyboard that you have to... Uh, to so take to the blueprint you. and I'll just arrive and then allow for it yeah. to expand yeah. and to, to encompass and bring in all the elements that are, are available to you. Yeah, it's my method. It's the way well, it's a great I, method. I, I mean, yeah, I love yeah. this movie. So yeah. congratulations Thank on you. Hounds. Uh, merci beaucoup. Merci Shukran. Shukran. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to your next feature. Yeah, I hope. Uh... Hey, this is Eric from MyOwnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.